Volcanoes can be found just about anywhere on Earth. Although many are dormant, there are still plenty of others that are active, and just a select few experts fear are simply waiting to blow. From the United States all the way to Italy, here are five volcanoes scientists believe may erupt very soon. Just off the northern coast of the island of Sicily is the island of Stromboli. Also on the island is the volcano that shares its name. It is one of three active volcanoes in the country that is in a constant state of eruption. Often visible from many points on the island and from the surrounding sea, the Stromboli volcano has earned itself the nickname the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean. Most eruptions are small, but there was a major one back on April 13th of 2009. As recently as June of 2021, the volcanic eruptions have become more intense and have lasted for much longer. On June 12th, there was even a recorded eruption that went on continuously for a period of 12 hours. Now, although it wasn't an incredibly violent event, it was unusual as far as how long it lasted. Of course, no one can predict for sure when a large-scale blast will occur. But thankfully, there are less than 1,000 people that live on the island. Should the Stromboli volcano erupt in an incredibly violent fashion, there would hopefully be minimal loss of life and property. However, much of the southern European countries could definitely be affected by falling ash. Scientists are continuously monitoring the volcano and will be doing so for the foreseeable future. If you want to know where some of the most active volcanoes on Earth are, then look no further than Southeast Asia, particularly in the countries of Indonesia and the Philippines. Mount Pinatubo, located in the Philippines, is one such active volcano. In 1991, this volcano erupted in a powerful explosion which is still considered to be the world's most violent eruption in 100 years. It emitted bursts of gas-charged magma that formed into umbrella ash clouds. Hot flows of gas and ash descended down the volcano and swept into the valleys. In total, over 700 people perished in the freak event. In more recent years, scientists have been paying very close attention to Pinatubo, as there have been quite a few signs that there could be life in the mountain again. Since the beginning of 2021, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has recorded just over 1,700 imperceptible earthquakes in the area, with magnitudes between 0.5 and 2.8. They are all occurring just beneath the surface of the mountain. Although these earthquakes cannot be felt, they definitely indicate that just below the surface of the volcano, there is some activity happening. Researchers who have been monitoring Pinatubo have had little reason to suspect that the earthquakes alone should be reason to panic. However, there have also been slight increases in the temperatures of various gas vents as well as increased gas emissions. For now, all we can do is keep a watchful eye and wait for the day the volcano erupts once again. One of the world's most popular and well-documented volcanoes is Hawaii's Mount Kilauea. However, few people realize that this isn't the only volcano in the area. As a matter of fact, Hawaii is home to the world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa. Located on the Big Island of Hawaii, this enormous mountain stands over 13,000 feet above sea level and makes up roughly 51% of the entire landmass. History has shown that Mauna Loa eruptions typically begin with very little warning and produce high-volume lava flows which travel long distances in short periods of time. It was at this volcano in the 1950s when one of the fastest high-volume eruptions in recorded history occurred. Lava flow traveled for some 24 kilometers and reached the ocean in just under three hours. If anything, this is just one example of the potential danger that exists at Mauna Loa. 
So what are the chances that there will be an eruption sometime soon? Originally, it was thought that an eruption was not imminent. However, geophysical measurements of the mountain indicate that Mauna Loa's magma chamber system has been recharging for about the last 35 years. Additionally, there's been signs of elevated unrest, especially in the last two years. Knowing this, some are rethinking their initial readings and planning for a potential eruption sometime in the not-so-distant future. One mountain that looms in the horizon near Portland, Oregon is Mount Hood. You might not realize it at first glance, but this majestic-looking peak is actually an active volcano. And scientists aren't questioning if the volcano will erupt again, but when. Unlike Mount St. Helens, another famous volcano in the area, Mount Hood does not have a history of violent eruptions. Instead, the mountain is known more for its lava flows, which rarely travel more than six to eight miles from its source. The last major eruption occurred in the 1790s, not long before Lewis and Clark set off to explore the Pacific Northwest. During that eruption, the lava dome that had built on its summit collapsed, releasing a pyroclastic flow which destroyed everything in its path. However, it was not particularly violent, nor did it reach far past the base of its slopes. The real damage from this eruption occurred as a result of melting snow and ice that formed lahars that flowed down the river valleys. So, aside from a short period of activity in the 1800s, the mountain has been quiet. But some are growing concerned. The lava dome on its peak has reached its highest point again, creating a nearly perfectly shaped summit. Scientists seem to remain even less optimistic than normal when it comes to this mountain's activity. Remember, even though the last official eruption was over 200 years ago, Mount Hood has not been classified as dormant. It is still very much active. Minor earthquakes under the mountain have been recorded. Additionally, increased output from some of the hot steam vents or fumaroles indicate that the magma chamber just below the surface is quickly filling. Should the mountain explode, it would most likely consist of small explosions along with the collapse of the lava dome. It's hard to talk about the great country of Japan without mentioning Mount Fuji, an incredibly majestic, snow-covered mountain that Japanese culture holds in reverence. Standing at just under 13,000 feet, it is the highest of Japan's three holy mountains. Every summer, thousands of pilgrims and tourists climb to the summit, with many of them hiking through the night in order to be able to take in the next morning's sunrise. However, the beauty of this peak causes people to forget that it is actually an active volcano. The last eruption of Mount Fuji happened in the early 1700s and was triggered by an earthquake. Cities and villages for miles were either burned or buried, with an estimated 20,000 being lost in the rubble. Since then, there have been no signs of activity in its enormous peak. Life came back to its slopes, along with settlers. But there are new studies which show that there could be an eruption looming on the horizon. Although there are some disputes as to the validity of claims that the mountain could soon erupt, there seems to also be some pretty convincing evidence. Retired professor Masaki Kimura of Ryukyu University has said that the pressure buildup in Mount Fuji's magma chamber indicates that an eruption should have taken place in 2011. This prediction was also accompanied with a four-year margin of error, which ended in 2015. Today, there are even more people living in the shadow of the volcano, which means, should Mount Fuji erupt as predicted, the death toll could be well over 200,000 people. Well, that about wraps things up for this video, but if you enjoyed it and want to see more of ours just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.